This tutorial is a very simple BitMEX exchange interface overview. I will demonstrate it on the example of cash and carry arbitrage. Please give me thumbs up and have a look at the discount links in the description below. I will very briefly des describe what is cash and carry. Um, so you want to buy Bitcoin on a spot exchange and immediately short the exact same amount on a futures contract, which is trading at a premium to lock in risk-free profit. At expiry, you will exit the spot position and your futures position will expire on its own. Um, this is possible because speculators want to go long uh, Bitcoin on leverage and they are willing to pay premium for that. Um, this demonstration will be on tiny testnet amount, um, but this works perfectly fine on multi-million dollar positions. There will be a few assumptions. Um, the first assumption is that you have 0 0.13 Bitcoin as your long-term Bitcoin position, uh, but you want to open the same amount as cash and carry arbitrage. That way you will reduce the risk, of, uh, the risk associated with uh, Bitcoin price movement between buying on the spot exchange and getting that Bitcoin deposited on BitMEX. The withdrawal usually takes hours, two days sometimes. So first of all, you log into your BitMEX account, then you deposit your Bitcoin onto your uh, account. If you don't have the account address, you can press create address button here. Um, BitMEX waits uh, only one confirmation to credit your account. So that takes on average 10 minutes. Um, you have a wide selection of contracts if you go to trade and by default you land on XBT USD perpetual future contract and what you want to do is you want to go to the June future because this is the one which we want to arbitrage. Um, unfortunately, this contract, well no, this contract actually is trading at a premium. Um, so you can see that the uh, asks are at a premium, um, but you would only want to arbitrage a contract which is trading at a significant premium. So for the demonstration purpose, we will lock in a small profit, um, but um, usually you would like to have at least 10% yearly yield on such a trade. So um, you select the June contract and uh, here it says June 26, uh, 100x and that means that the contract expires on the 26th of June and there is 100x leverage. Um, you can go into these uh, into the contract specifications into a little bit more detail when you uh, press the, the button and then you learn that it will expire on the average price um, weighted over 30 minutes before 12 o'clock UTC time on the 26th of June. So that's the, the important piece of information. At the bottom, you can see that uh, you have no open positions on BitMEX at the moment. Um, we will use the default limit order and we'll press the post only button here. So we'll tick this box. By default, it is not ticked. Um, this, when this box is ticked, um, you cannot submit an order which would be a taker. Um, so we will be selling. So when you select post only, an order that would execute um, will just get uh, cancelled. So post only, but uh, it would uh, execute. So this is why it was cancelled. Um, so we need to select the right amount. We have 0 0.1 326 Bitcoin and you go to a spot exchange for example ftx.com they have very low spot trading fees but sometimes the spread is uh, is is pretty high so that's the caveat but the the low fee is is what attracts us to this exchange we also select post only to make sure we are a, a maker not a taker and um, so how many contracts do we need to open Let, let's press the price and you know the market is a little bit volatile at the moment um, but you would like to be at the upper part of the spread if you want to buy uh, without a long wait time. So let's assume that this is the price we want to buy on uh, buy at. And the amount that we will want to short is 1,218 uh, contracts. And that's 
and one contract is representing one US dollar. Um, now, you can open a short in XBT value or in USD value. For simplicity, we'll open the short in the USD value, um, but you can see that the XBT value of this cell will be 0 0.14 XBT. The reason for that is that this XBT is being calculated with the price of a mark price of this contract, which is at a premium. Um, but if you want your uh, profits to be in BTC rather than in USD, um, you can just uh, short uh, the dollar amount. And that's what we will do for simplicity. Um, that that premium uh, will decay over time and it will be zero at, at the expiry. Right, so we need to submit um, the buy order on FTX and to sub and submit a sell order on BitMEX. Now this um, contract here is quite illiquid on the test net but on the real net it is very liquid and the spread is usually nearly zero um, and it will get filled nearly instantly or within seconds so there should be no worries about getting this contract filled. However on test net it will take us a little bit longer than that. So let's assume that we pull the trigger at the price of uh, 9,160 and the amount in US dollars. So let's assume we submit this order, then it gets filled. So then we instantly go to BitMEX and we submit a sell order. Now um, on the real BitMEX, we would submit a, a sell order um, at the top of the order book, but here on uh, on testnet we'll submit this order here. So as as we are aiming for uh, risk-free arbitrage, you would instantly sub submit a buy and sell at a less volatile time, while at the moment we are at a really volatile time. Um, you can see that the price is is moving rapidly. So you would rather want to wait out the period of instability. Um, but let's assume that we have made a purchase at 9,160 and at the same time we have submitted the sell order at 9,100 and let's say 80 um, and, and let's assume that premium was there. So let's just uh, time travel into the future until this order gets filled and this is our time travel finished uh, and we have opened a short on the June futures with uh, enterprise of 9,220. Um, so our entry on the long on FTX exchange was at 9,160 and our sell on the futures contract was 9,220 and that's a more or less reasonable expectation. It took us absolute ages to get all this filled on the testnet, that's because the testnet is quite illiquid, but on the mainnet you will get filled in seconds. So you can see how liquid these books are, so you just submit an order. Here if the price moves up you just uh, keep pressing the price and uh, updating the order. So if you had the order here you just post a buy. Um, well we are actually selling so let's just demonstrate everything on the sell side. So if you were selling here, you just put your order here. Um, we need to make it smaller. Um, mm -hmm. And as the price escapes from you, you just cancel this one and you just chase it. Uh, that's, in my opinion, uh, for a non-automated trading um, management, I think that's, that's, that's the most um, kind of risk reward efficient way so you just keep updating these and if the price escapes from you further you just close this one move it closer to the um, mid price until you get filled why don't you just leave an order and and let it be hoping that it will get filled well it, it may not get filled and that would be an issue um, so yep uh, we've got our fill um, now we just wait until the expiry. The leverage is around 1x and you can see the current leverage here. So the leverage is actually 0.99x and um, it, 
it says here that the liquidation pre, uh, price is insane so there's essentially no risk of liquidation now fast forward till expiry at expiry which will be on the 26th of june um, this contract will be delivered um, at the price based on the 30 minute uh, time weighted average of the price of bitmex index so you can imagine that as you have sold this you will rebuy this over 30 minutes mm, well bitmex engine will automatically rebuy this for you and that will be the price of of settlement with another counterparty um, how can you exit your spot position in in that scenario uh, well every three minutes you can exit 10 percent of your position so you can either close your ftx position or you can just roll into the next contract so while this contract will be expiring this september one might have a premium which you might want to capture as well so rather than closing your spot position you can keep your spot position and then use uh, the same collateral just to keep selling uh, the amount that that you need to sell every uh, three minutes so 10 percent every three minutes so you just select this price uh, press sell and then if it doesn't get filled you just move it closer to the order book and you hope you get filled every three minutes and you continue that for 30 minutes and that is essentially it. After you're finished with your arbitrage, you just withdraw and you've made a profit. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please open a new account on BitMEX or some other exchange with the referral link, which you'll find below. That will give you a discount on the trading fees and save you some money. On BitMEX, you get 10% fee discount and the discounts are higher on some other exchanges.